Welcome back grade 12s and it looks like here we're going to need to use some grade 12 trig and double angles and that coming up. But are we really? We'll see just now. Okay, so we're given three triangles in the picture. Can you see all three triangles? And we're given some information about them. So first up, let's just write down all the other things we know. So if QR is D and, these, and RS is equal to that, that's also going to be D. And this is also going to be D over there. Okay, great stuff. This is theta, this angle at Q. Well, surely this is also going to be theta because that's an isos triangle. So I'm going to call that P1 and P2. And in the same vein, I'm going to call that R1 and R2. And just capture our thinking. P1 equals theta because it's an isos triangle. So we do have to state our, make our statements and reasons as we go. Okay, well, theta, theta. Therefore, R1 is easy to figure out as well. Well, exterior angle of the triangle says that R2, or R1 at least, is 2 theta, okay? So R1 is 2 theta because exterior angle of triangle. Okay, so other things we might or might not need is, well, this here is 180 minus 2 theta. That is a huge mess. 2 theta because of angles in a straight line. So, you know, now I start thinking, wait, what is the point of the question? We're writing down a lot of things here that are just geometry related that we're probably not going to need as well. So we must be careful about getting too distracted and getting all our statements and reasons. But I'm just going to put them down here because they're interesting enough to remind ourselves of angles on straight line while we're doing this. And, well, maybe in this right-hand triangle, well, if that's 2 theta, then... Each of these angles here is just 90 minus theta because they need to be the same. So, and they must all add up to 180. So let's just check. 2 theta, so we must have 2 negative thetas. And then we must have 90 and 90 to get us to 180. So P2 is equal to S is equal to 90 minus theta. And that's because of some of our angles in our isos triangle. Okay, so not too bad rather err on the side of writing down statements and reasons because we did need those geometric reasons. Okay, now we've got more than enough information to say, okay, cool, well, what are we trying to find here? We're trying to prove that A is 2D sine theta. Well, if we look at our triangles in this left-hand QRP triangle, well, we've got all three angles and we've got two sides. Well, we're not going to use cos rule because we don't know what QP is and we're not trying to find it. And we're not going to use sine rule because then we're going to have, you know, theta and D and theta and D. And we need to use the A because there's an A over here in what we're trying to show. Okay, well, here's an A over here and we've got the angle that's opposite. Oh, sine rule is jumping out. Oh, look, here's an angle that we know and the side opposite. So using our sine rule in triangle PRS, well, the thing that we're kind of trying to find is A, so the unknown I'm putting on the top left, even though the D is also unknown, and theta. A over sine the angle opposite it, 2 theta, equals D over sine, and that angle there is 90 minus theta. It didn't matter which D we chose. Okay, well, we're trying to find A, so I'm going to make A the subject of the formula, by multiplying both sides by sine 2 theta, sine 90 minus theta. Okay, cool. Well, feels like we're almost there, but the final thing is 2d sine theta, not 2 theta, and no sine 90 minus theta. Well, sine 90 minus theta, now that's just cos theta, isn't it? Cos theta from our co-ratios. Sine 2 theta, we can write as times 2 sine theta cos theta, right, from our double angle formula. Oh, well, lo and behold, let's just cancel those two things out. In other words, I'm just going to move up there. In other words, A is just A times 2 times sine theta. So if we just wrote that in a different order, we can get that, which means that we are done. Now, wait a second. There was a much easier way to do this. And if you haven't seen it, here's my kind of hint. Right at the beginning, I said there were three triangles. And did you see all three triangles? 
Now if this is theta and that's 90 minus theta, this is a right angle. Well, if we work in the big right angle triangle, then, and we work with that angle, well, A is opposite, and the hypotenuse is 2D. So, sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse, times both sides by 2D. And we didn't need our double angles after all, because we're done in a whole lot fewer steps. Try and spot it. It saves you a bit of time and energy. I'll see you in the next one.